Oh, uh, Willie knows what's going on today, too. As far as I like to you guys a little update on what's going on right now. So, today's time, yeah, no, I'm gonna be getting a new iPhone very soon. This is my old uh, iPhone 8 I had since high school, rose gold. I am gonna get this screen fixed. So, it is 2 11 Friday, October 21, and uh, I just got through uploading a, uh, a video on my YouTube channel. Um, I was watching a little bit of Jay Smart, so uh, let me see something. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the uh, 176 subscribers. As you guys can see, I just uploaded, I just uploaded a video of a 2013 Shade Volt, and I'm also back at the uh, BYLT Junkyard. So subscribe to my channel. You guys can see more updates on the Prius and the Tahoe. So update on the Prius. So today was a good day at the yard. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the Prius and everything is still going pretty good. We're just sitting here with the AC, which is awesome on this car, having low setting. Radio and all that's still doing pretty good. Um, I ain't gonna be ordering me the trim piece that goes around here for this radio. Um, I'm just waiting for the junkyard to get in a 2008 or a 2004 Prius. That way, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly on a hunt for the 2008. That way I can swap out this uh, screen right here. Um, so I can get the full logo and then with the Navi and then the, uh, the squeaky lines right there. You get this whole screen replaced. Um, that screen is actually pretty nice. It's got Bluetooth, audio and all that. Uh, the car so far has Show you guys that. Those are the miles right there. Uh, check engine light is actually for a O2 sensor. Um, but other than that, the car still runs great. Um, I actually scored a few things today for the Prius and the Tahoe. I scored this uh, auto dimming rear view mirror off of a uh, what vehicle was it, honey baby? What Hyundai vehicle? Azero. Hyundai Azero. What year? It looks like a 14. 2014 Hyundai Azero uh, rear view mirror. <clears throat> the only reason why I scored this mirror because obviously I was doing some more research on this car um, The NBS mirror the one that came out of my Tahoe the one with the two line display that one's going back in there um, The crazy thing about this car. I'm actually gonna be using the harness the one I used to wire the uh, I already have wiring already ran through here. So I have to cut nothing. The thing I gotta do is pl uh, cut cut the plug off from the uh, Obviously disconnect the fuse obviously cut the review and cut the uh, the harness and it rewired this mirror in. This one has a uh, has blue link, has emergency assistance, um, has home link garage door opener, on and off button for the. Uh, I don't know if you guys cannot really see it, but there is a. Oh, you guys can't really see it, but there is a. Uh, um, I hope you guys can see it halfway decent, but you guys can see those little numbers in there. I'll show it to you guys here real quick. Hang on, give me one second. Let me get my flash real quick, and I'll show you guys what specifically on what I'm talking about. So you guys can see. There you go. Now you guys, now you guys can see it. There is a built-in invisible compass built into this mirror, which is something you didn't know about, huh? It's got an invisible built-in compass. This one only has a compass mirror on it. That's pretty nice. I knew about um, that. Most Hyundai's come with. But in that, it's got the home link and the uh, whoa. And the uh, garage door opener where you can turn the compass on and off. You know, you got SOS, which none of this is going to work. The blue link, that's not going to work. Um, the only thing that's going to work is the home link and the built-in compass. It actually looks like a factory mirror. It looks like it was meant to be here. So you guys can see that right there. Um, it looks factory, obviously. And it's got a built-in pigtail. The pigtail is actually built into here. And I actually have the plug in the back right now as we speak. So give me one second. I'll show you guys what we got for the tile factory parts let's go back here um this is my toolbox and obviously my my uh cleaning materials obviously that's my bag right there I'll show you guys what we got for the tahoe this is the plug for the uh for the gentex auto dimming mirror the one we got in the car the one that's sitting over there so that's the pigtail for it um a couple pieces we got for the tahoe my little trim piece that goes in the dash where the four-wheel drive used to go because the four-wheel drive is going to get deleted um, a factory crankshaft sensor, as you guys can see that right there. There's the part number. Um, a brand new, found this in that same truck, brand new freaking fuel filter. So that's pretty nice. It's a Wix. Uh, ooh. Uh, give me one second. All right, sorry about that, guys. My, my major camera emergency is a Wix. So and there's, the, uh, there's the part number for it. That fuel filter was literally sitting inside the truck. Um, so we got a factory OEM um, crankshaft sensor, 
Got my little plate right here. Also got a uh, new, got a O2 sensor for it, and the little piece for the uh, for the crank for the crankshaft sensor. This little gasket is missing, so I grabbed that. Grabbed an O2 sensor. Um, this is the original. This is the rear mirror that came off the Prius, um, but it ended up breaking on me, so I'm probably just gonna super glue in that. But this mirror is going in the top. Um, so I had all this stuff already lying around. The mirror and everything else already lying around. Um, they didn't charge me for like little stuff like this. They didn't charge me for anything like they didn't charge me for anything um, The only thing I paid for was for the O2 sensor and then the rest of the stuff is like right, go ahead man I was like, All right, cool So got the little block off plate for the four-wheel drive and the little harness for my uh, My home leg mirror the new mirror that we're gonna put in the Prius so factory parts obviously factory parts That's it guys um, Get back in the car. Obviously a brand new freaking fuel filter. That's awesome. That's the best thing that's a couple more things right there that we got for the Tahoe. I'll show you guys and see. Just some small little updates, nothing too big. I also grabbed the pigtail with it too. Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, the car is kind of, the car's not dirty right now, so I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around it because there's a guy sitting over there. So I want to make it obvious that I'm recording. So, um, so this is the rearview mirror we got. It's pretty awesome. It actually seems like it was meant to be in this car. Now let's show you guys the the price. How much you think? How much you think it was, baby? Pretty freaking cheap. The, these mirrors are really expensive. What 2014? What year? 2013 mirror? Uh, 13, 14. That's usually the same kind of style mirror for the Hyundai Azeros. All right, and drum roll, please. Ah, oh, what the hell? Shout out to these guys. B oh crap! Can you focus it? All right, there you guys go. Shout out to these guys. BYOT Auto Shack. So subtotal came out to there's the rearview mirror. Rearview mirror is three dollars and thirty cents. Sun and sensor emissions is nine bucks. Came out to subtotal came out to fifteen dollars, which is cheap. And that's awesome. So it's amazing how you can get a rearview mirror for fifteen dollars, even though this this rearview mirror probably costs like how much do you think it costs for this mirror and the wire harness on eBay? Oh God, probably hundred. 250 it depends on if you go aftermarket or if you stay with Hyundai or well yeah Hyundai Kia they're both the same company pretty much um, if you stay with that type of mirror you're probably looking at aftermarket wise probably 150 the cheapest Hyundai part or Kia part you'd probably be looking at like 250 300 oh yeah and that's just for the whole connection in the mirror and luckily for me we just basically did the unthinkable <laughs> we just basically cut cut the plug off from the mirror so we basically got a complete mirror right here with, you know, garage door opener and the built-in compass. That's what I wanted, the invisible compass. And obviously the harness is already ran for the wiring. So all I got to do is just cut this plug off, solder it, heat shrink it to this mirror, and then bring it on there. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more updates.